Okay, here's a problem. We posed it just a minute ago. We want to find how big a radio telescope has to be um, in order to have the same resolution as Galileo's little optical telescope. And we know that radio waves are not nearly as going to give us nearly as sharp an image as an optical optical waves will. But let's let's go ahead and solve that problem. Uh, we're going to assume that we use 10 centimeter radio waves. And uh, we know that Galileo's telescope has a resolving power, a diffraction limit of around three arc seconds. We've solved that problem already. So let's get, look at the solution and what it takes to work this out. And here's a typical radio telescope, uh, 100 meter, the 100 meter radio telescope at Green Bank, West Virginia. Aperture of that thing, the size of that diameter of that disk is uh, about the size of a football field. So that thing is really enormous. Will it, will it need a telescope bigger than this, smaller than this, to give us a three arc second aperture? So let's, let's, let's try to solve that. And the first thing we have to do is think about what equation we're going to use. And of course, that equation is the diffraction limit equation that we've been, been discussing. Diffraction limit is given by 2.5 10 to the fifth arc seconds times lambda divided by d. And once you know the equation, the first thing you have to do is stop and think. What do I know in this equation, and what do I want to find out? And so what do we know? Well, we know the wavelength of light that we're going to be using here. That wavelength is given by uh, 10, 10 centimeters, tenth of a meter. So we know that. And the other thing we know is that we want to have a diffraction limit of three arc seconds. So that's the other thing we know. So that means that the one unknown, the thing we have to find, is the diameter of the radio telescope. So let's solve for that. I'm going to skip over this because we've talked about it in class. But if you don't understand this step, you need to work this out on your own. We can exchange the diff this variable dl for the, the variable d. We do that by multiplying each side of the equation by d, dividing each side of the equation by dl. And we'll be left with d is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the fifth arc seconds lambda divided by diffraction limit dl. OK, so let's, let's plug that in. We, we know everything on the right-hand side. We know lambda. We know dl. And this is what we want to find. So let's go ahead and do this. That's going to be 2.5 times 10 to the fifth arc seconds. This is going to be point one meters, 10 centimeters is 0.1 meter, divided by three seconds of arc. Okay? And of course, we, when we look at this, we can see that seconds of arc appear in both the numerator and the denominator. That's a five there, in case you can't read that. And so they cancel out. Those units cancel. And that leaves us with an answer that's going to be in the one remaining unit over here in meters. So let's multiply this out, and if we do that, we're going to find that d is going to be equal to uh, 2.5 divided by 3, that's this divided by that, 1 tenth times 10 to the fifth is 10 to the 4, and that'll be an answer that's going to be in meters. 2.5 2 divided by 3 is 5 sixths. 5 sixths, if you work it out with a calculator, is something like 0.83 times 10 to the 4 meters. That means that we're coming up with an answer that's 8, oops, that's an 8, 3, 0, 0 meters. That's 8.3 kilometers in diameter. We've come up with an answer that tells us that we've got to have a telescope that's something like 5 miles across in order to have the same resolving power as Galileo's optical telescope. Way, way bigger than the uh, Green Bank West Virginia telescope that we've been looking at here.